Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we're continuing on with a special series, our local business spotlights. This is one of my favorite series. I love highlighting some of the local businesses um, and business owners that we have here in our community. And today we have a newer business to downtown Lake Orion. Um, she's not a brand new business, but she is new to a storefront in downtown Lake Orion. Um, I have Donna Zyke of Sawdust and Cider joining me today. So without further ado, let's get Donna on to join us. Donna, it's so nice to have you join us today. Um, so you have in downtown Lake Orion, Sawdust and Cider. Um, you have been in business, you do woodworking and you've been in business since 2017, but you just recently moved your business into downtown Lake Orion and expanded, right? Correct. Yep. So, um, tell us a little bit about the expansion. So now it's not just you inside of, um, inside of the shop, right? Or the boutique. Yep. So we have, um, it's a local artisan market. So we feature 45 um, handmade local artisans from Michigan. Um, most of them are from the Lake Orion Oxford area. Um, and 99% of my vendors are um, female owned businesses as well. Fantastic. And so what are, so 45 artisans, that's quite a lot. Um, I've been in your shop. You have so many great things. Um, but you have like, I mean, you have your, your woodworking, um, you have furniture pieces. Um, yeah. what are some of the other, other products and, and wares that we can see on a regular basis? So right now, um, it's a very fun time for us because it's Christmas. So it's definitely like the hustle and bustle of the retail season. Christmas is personally my favorite. I just love yeah. the decorations and how yeah. pretty it looks. I actually have a couple items here. Um, so some of the things we have are like these little handmade coasters. Um, so cute. Little tea towels. These tea towels are $10. We have a, a ton of them with different quotes on them. Those would um, make great hostess gifts. Yeah, especially so, yeah. Um, for like the white elephant or if you're oh, going yeah. to like giving, perfect for that. Yeah. Um, we have the days till Christmas countdown. Um, we actually have, um, this is a pretty small sign to it. I'd say it's like eight by eight. We have a really cute one in the shop that says Santa cams. So the little think that's watching them. Yeah. Um, some of my favorite items um, is our candle maker, Applewood Candle Co. She does these. They're absolutely just beautiful. Um, this is the blue spruce and cypress. It's it smells like a Christmas tree. It oh, smells like very um, nice. Cause I don't get a real Christmas tree every year. So it'd be nice. Like when my tree's all lit up, I can light the candle. So it would smell like I have a real tree. <laughs> yeah. No, um, we're actually in the process of moving. And so on uh, to our new house for we for a new build to finish. And unfortunately I don't to decorate for Christmas this year. So oh. it's my day of enjoyment. Um, we also, these make a wonderful hostess gift um, because they can be used after the candle is burned, but we have these beautiful dough bowls. We have a smaller size and a bigger size. Um, the smaller ones are 44, the big ones are 72, um, but we have those in, um, I think, four different scents, okay. so a variety of those, um, and it's nice because once the candle's burned, you can put the table, throw your keys in it. Yes. Yes. Yep. So it's like, it's the gift that keeps on giving. So, <laughs> or even for yourself, a gift to yourself. Sometimes we need to do that. So we have tons of just cute little holiday decor, um, little Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. So um, and we do custom like charcuterie boards, cutting boards. We can like engrave those. So really we have a little bit of everything. Okay. And you were saying that you can do custom orders for many things, right? If somebody is looking for a nice custom gift, um, they can come in and you can help them out with that. Yeah. And most of our vendors in the shop accept custom orders. So if you come in something that isn't quite to your liking, maybe you want it in a different color, maybe you want it a little bit bigger, um, we can absolutely accommodate that. Um, we have a couple girls in the shop who do mugs and cups. Um, maybe you want a mug personalized with your name on it. We can absolutely make that happen. 
We have some really cute college tumblers in the store. If you know your college, you can absolutely do it for your college. Um, don't ever be afraid to ask. But yes, pretty much all of our vendors in the shop take custom orders. That's fantastic. And not only that, not only can you do custom orders, but you have new things that are constantly coming into the shop, right? So if I were to come in today, uh, well, not today because you're not open on Tuesdays, but if I were to come in tomorrow and then I were to come in again a week from Wednesday, um, there would I would see new new products. Absolutely. Okay. We're always getting um, new stuff. A lot of the stuff that I actually just showed you is stuff that vendors have dropped off to me um, this week that I actually need to take up to the shop. Okay. Um, so the store is constantly changing on a week-to-week -week basis. You'll see um, new items. And then on a monthly basis, I actually go through and I redecorate the whole store. So okay. um, every month when you come in the shop, we'll have a deal. Um, and I definitely decorate it for each of the holidays. Oh, too. That's so fun. So if you need a little bit of festive feeling, depending on what season or what holiday we're near, if we come in, um, we can get some of that in your shop. And, um, and so it sounds like, so some of the pieces that come in, they're unique. So if you come in and you see something you like, um, you want to make sure that you buy it, right? Or you'll have to remember exactly what it was and you can have it custom made for you. Yes, absolutely. And that's one of the things I love about the store is that everything truly really is unique. Um, I always tell people, if you want it, buy it now. Right. <laughs> it could be gone. <laughs> Um, and we've had that happen a few times where people were like, I came back to check if it was here, but it looks like it's gone. Yeah. Um, and that is the beauty of the shop is that things go pretty fast. So it does allow us to always be bringing in new unique items. Yes. And that's nice too, because if you like to decorate your home and have a piece that not everybody has or has seen, um, you can come in and get something that kind of fits your style and your decor. And um, so I think that's great. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It really yeah. And so not, now you sell products, but you also do some, some classes or workshops, correct? Yes, we do. Um, so we'll actually be posting some Christmas workshops here in the next week. Um, but we recently did a um, pumpkin bouquet class. So it was a lot of fun. Everybody got to scoop out their own pumpkin. Um, and we had about 30 different um, types of flowers available in the shop. And everybody went through and picked their flowers. And we were able to decorate it, um, help them make little bouquets in the pumpkin. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, somebody somebody just commented. It must be one of your followers said, too funny that I showed their house. <laughs> Those who don't know, I'm also a realtor. I don't just host D with Tracy. And I showed their house and they were wondering where they knew me from. Hi. <laughs> It's from here, <laughs> but um, yeah, I the um, private classes as well. So um, if you want to, all of our vendors for the most part can do classes in the shop. So if you see something that you'd like to learn how to make with one of our vendors, we can always accommodate that too. Um, yes. I think class. that would be a great like girlfriend's night out, you know, get a bunch of people together. Um, you know, I, that just sounds like so much fun. And how many people can do a private class? Um, right now we can hold about 17 people in the shop for class, okay. um, a little bit more yep. comfortability room, yep. um, but heading into the holiday season, we can definitely accommodate up to seven. Okay. Up to seven. So that's a good size. That's a really good size. Um, we got another comment that Donna is very good at what she does. Keep up the great work. So you have some, uh, happy followers. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the classes sound fantastic. So you can either do a private event or you can sign up for one of your scheduled events as well, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And um, we are closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. However, for the, we're still trying to be COVID conscious, we do offer um, private class or private shopping. Um, so if you want a more personalized private shopping experience, um, you can just contact us through our Facebook page to make an appointment and we can accommodate that as well. Okay, fantastic. So if for whatever reason you you need to have a limited um, need, need to have limited exposure, you can definitely shop by appointment. Um, otherwise, you're open Wednesday through Sunday, correct? Yes, we are yeah. open Wednesdays 11 to 6, Thursdays 10 to 7, Friday and Saturday 10 to 8, and Sundays 10 to 3. Okay, fantastic. You know, I'm so excited. Um, when I saw your shop pop up and I went in and checked it out, I just, I love it. I love um, what you add to our downtown and to our community. 
Um, I think there's some great, you have great products in there. And I love that it supports other local artists, right? So not only yourself, but you have 45 other artisans that are creating and bringing their product in. And so that's just, I, I love it. I love supporting local. So. You know, I like it because if you go on Etsy, I feel like Etsy can be a little bit overwhelming. There's so many makers on Etsy and, um, you know, I, a lot of people try to go on Etsy and still support the local community, um, which you absolutely can do. But this just gives people another outlet to come in and actually like see and touch and feel and right. smell things. Yeah. And I think sometimes that shopping experience is a little bit more necessary the online and just seeing it. Yes, absolutely. And you know what? There's something to be said for when you make the purchase, being able to walk out with it, like in your hand, in your bag that you get to take it home right away. So yeah, gratification for sure. Or it's nice too, if it's, you know, a birthday, dude, I forgot to pick something. Yeah. Be able to run in and grab it is so much nicer than having to wait. Um, especially last year, I'm sure we all experienced shipping delays with COVID mm -hmm. and up in the store, you don't have um, we do, um, if you have something for sale on our website that you like, we offer shipping okay. um, for those outside of our local area. Um, but yeah, that gratification and then you have to bring them in the mail. Uh, I agree. <laughs> so, so shipping is an option for those who might need it, or if you want to have it shipped to somebody out of state and you don't necessarily want to package it yourself. Um, but yeah, but, but definitely if you haven't been to Sawdust and Cider, you definitely want to check it out. Um, Small Business Saturday is coming up and, um, I know a lot of our local businesses are hopping and there's usually giveaways next week. We'll have the DDA on to talk about, um, you know, more about what's happening in downtown overall. Um, is there anything else, Donna, that you want us to know about Sawdust and Cider? Um, like I said, 45 local artisans, 99% of my makers are stay-at-home moms or single moms. So you're really supporting a much bigger dream for them. Um, with Small Business Saturday coming up, I know you mentioned specials. We already have some specials in the works and we'll have wine and snacks. Um, and we'll be, Brian and myself will be there all day. So it should be a fun time. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. And I love it. I love that there, like I said, that there's the community support. I'm a single mom as well. I've been one for many, many years. So it's always nice to have the community support as well. So thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you again in the shop soon. And um, if you haven't, if you're viewing and you haven't checked out Sawdust and Cider yet, make sure you do so Wednesday through Sunday, um, or you can call and make an appointment on a Monday or a Tuesday. So... Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna, for joining us today. Thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. And we'll see you next Tuesday at 12 on Tea with Tracy.